somewhere to roam. Okay, I'll do, do my best. We're here in a seed production field of ballerina zinnia from Johnny's. Sequin offers a new color in Gomfrina, and we hope you'll give it a try. This is agave zinnia mix bred by Johnny's plant breeding team. We named this variety linen for its clean, neutral color palette. Aurora zinnia mix has large dahlia-shaped blooms and is early to flower. This is Shimmer Silosia, bred by Johnny's plant breeding team over um, an eight year period. <laughs> My name is Lindsay Wyatt, and I am the squash and pumpkin and flower breeder here at Johnny's. So I develop with my team new winter squash, summer squash, jack-o'-lantern, and cut flower varieties. I'm Emily and um, I've been working with Lindsay f since 2016 and when I started at Johnny's I worked primarily just with winter squash and pumpkins and as our breeding team kind of developed and um, our illustrious product manager Hillary had an idea to start breeding flowers at Johnny's. I've worked more and more in the flower breeding program since 2018 and pretty much primarily work in flowers at this point. Em is our flower expert on the team. <laughs> you don't think so? Yes, you are. <laughs> so I just think they're so cute. They are cute. Like our little rainbow of adorable zinnias. I think I counted, I think there's 21 enclosures in here. So we started talking about breeding flowers a tiny bit in 2017, I think. And then in 2018, Hillary had started uh, dabbling in a little bit of seed saving. And uh, around the same time, Em told me that she needed a new challenge and suggested flower breeding. And it kind of went from there. We started with our, our first big field season in 2019 and uh, learned a lot that year and have continued learning ever since. And we're really excited to have four varieties to show for it now and more to come. Our focus is breeding for cut flowers. So we look for things like long stem length, uh, a uniform variety, so growers will get what they expect. New material with new colors into the marketplace that doesn't exist. We're breeding for gaps where we don't see a lot of other breeding work happening. And we want, you know, local cut flower growers just to have more options and things that they can grow efficiently and cost effectively for their farms to make a profit and also people happy. So that might mean the blush color in Zinnia. I think that should be a really great product for people. When we do our cut flower breeding, we're breeding open pollinated varieties. We mostly use a process called recurrent selection. How that works, um, big picture, is we grow a field of flowers that are all for the same project. So if we were growing for ballerina zinnia, they're all in the ballerina color palette, or are trying to be, <laughs> we intend them to be. We grow those in an isolation, so that means they're a mile or so away from any other zinnia fields or zinnias that are growing, so that way, uh, when they get pollinated by the bees and all of the under, other wonderful pollinators that are on the Johnny's farm, they're only pollinated amongst each other. And so then what we do is we go through that field, um, starting usually at first bloom, and we go through probably six or more times all the way up until uh, seed harvest, basically. And what we do is a process called roguing. So we will pull out any plants that are not what we want. And so the goal is that we are left with the best of the best, and then we let just the selected plants open new flowers and get cross-pollinated, uh, again, by bees and all the other insects that are on the farm. And then that seed that sets from that cross-pollination is what we then harvest. And then um, we basically clean that seed and do it all again the next year. And you keep doing that again and again until it's stable enough and good enough to be a new variety. And of course there's some nuances and some strategies, uh, but big picture that's what we do is grow flowers, pick our favorites, let them cross pollinate and uh, keep doing it again year after year until we're done. Gotcha. Get it all. Okay. <laughs> Get every single head. <laughs> 
there's like limitless potential and there's you know a lot of diversity and so it's hard to like say no to taking yep. a plant and yeah like oh just this project. one more thing and i feel like we've learned a lot in the last couple of years but there's a lot more to learn when you're like trying to breed something you're looking at each petal of the flower you're looking at these details all these things that i never really noticed before when i was just a production farmer it can be at moments you like forget how pretty your job is but it's you're just walking around a field of beautiful flowers in bloom and picking the best, prettiest ones, which I think deep down is what everyone likes doing. Um, wow, good job. Amazing. These are these are the celebs of flower breeding world. We have the farm crew at Johnny's is a really important part of our team. Um, they take care of the fields, do all of the field preparation, take care of the plants. Um, help with harvest, help with seed cleaning, all sorts of great stuff. A lot of good systems that the farm and the farm crew have implemented to ensure that we do have good quality seed here, but it does take a lot of effort. And I think that's been something to like, at least think about in the program. And, you know, there's a reason why there isn't a lot of dry seed production on the East Coast. And, um, but it's doable. We really always have all of the Johnny's customers in our mind when we're doing our selection work. You know, we're hoping that our flower breeding and new product development will help small farmers, large farmers, gardeners, anyone who wants to grow something new that isn't already available. It's hard enough to be a farmer. It's hard enough to be a farmer in state of climate change. Like if there's something that would make their farm more profitable or their customers more happy or their lives easier, let us know and maybe we can work on it. I would love growers to know how excited we are to be doing this. I want them to know how much we care about the flowers, about our team here, and about them and their success. <laughs>